and welcome along and welcome to this spotlight on the latest DLC for Farming Simulator 19. This is the John Deere Cotton DLC and uh, and this here, this is the crowning part of it. Uh, this is the John Deere CP690 uh, Cotton Harvester. Uh, CP690 Cotton Harvester, sorry. And, uh, and yeah, so this is the crown jewel in the DLC. Uh, we are going to go through all the items in it. There are seven items in total, uh, which we have all arrayed here. And, uh, and yeah, so this is, this is what the DLC uh, basically encompasses. Uh, it is mainly made up of uh, McCormick equipment here, which as far as I can tell is different from the Tracks brand. So it's not... Uh, this is not the McCormick Tract brand. This is McCormack Industries, uh, who appear to make cotton technology. Um, and uh, and yeah, so it's it mainly comprises of that. Um, the only John Deere item in it is the cotton harvester. Uh, but let's go through everything quickly. Uh, so first up here, we have uh, the McCormick Industries cotton wheel grab. Uh, this is basically for grabbing around uh, round cotton bales. Uh, it hitches two or three point link on a tractor. Nice amount of detail on this, um, and uh, and we'll go and we'll go and have a try with this in a bit. But uh, yeah, nice bit of detail with that. Uh, then we have uh, the McCormick uh, Industries cotton tag trailer. So this loads up round uh, round cotton bales onto it. It's similar to the way uh, the Addison DLC has a uh, round uh, round bale loader for wrapped bales. Um, this this works in a similar sort of way, uh, and we'll get we'll try that out in a minute as well. Uh, we got the uh, McCormick Industries uh, cotton bale rollers. So these go on the front of a telehandler and, uh, and allow you to pick up a, a cotton bale from beneath. Uh, and then over here we have the McCormick, McCormick Industries. Uh, cotton three spear frame again this goes on a telehandler and you uh spear the round cotton bales with this we uh, then have the lizard modular rb uh semi trailer this is a modification of the existing semi trailer in the game for uh that takes square bales this is a round bale one it takes four of the round bales and uh and yeah and and loads and transports those um, and then here as well, we have the Lizard uh, Module RB trailer. This can carry two of uh, two of the round bales as well. Uh, so, uh, yeah, again, it's a modification of the existing in-game one. Uh, and then, uh, as I said, at the beginning, we've got the CP690, uh, which is the John Deere Cotton Harvester, which, uh, to be perfectly honest, is probably why... Uh, you would want to buy this DLC more than anything else. So let's have a look at these items in the shop. So, of course, uh, where you'll find them mainly is under cotton technology. So uh, we've got the John Deere CP690 here for 847000 it is an extremely expensive harvester, this. Uh, so you compare that to the, the, case, the standard case module express in the game. Uh, it is nearly twice the price uh it is uh well this is the most expensive piece of kit in the game i'm not sure how useful that is as a result uh the the case already is a piece of equipment that i think is out of most people's price range in the game this is just massively massively expensive to uh to actually do uh Bale, cotton bales with this, uh, it's, you know, you need 10,000 10, litres uh, per round bale and it is, uh, it will take you forever to replay, uh, repay this harvester. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is for somebody who has a very, very large farm, I think. Uh, coupled with that, we have uh, the three spear frame. Uh, that's 6,200. Uh, no customizations uh, and, yeah just very standard in the shop we have the cotton bale rollers uh so again no customizations Thirteen thousand four hundred is the base price uh yeah not much else to say other than that uh we've got the cotton wheel grab uh that is twelve thousand seven hundred again no customizations 
Uh, the module RB, the module RB has again no customizations. Uh, Twenty six thousand for this. How does that compare to the existing one? So it's it's one thousand uh, more than the standard uh, in game one. The the, the standard module uh, module four. Uh, then we've got the cotton tag trailer. Uh, this has customizations for rim color, uh, which you've got a, a, a very wide range of. Uh, and the main color. So uh, you can customize it to look like that. It also has wheel brands uh, between Michelin and uh, Trollborg. Uh, none of those alter the price. Uh, so it costs nothing to actually customize this, uh, and it is 89,000. So I'm slightly surprised that changing the colors and the wheel brands doesn't actually alter the price of this. Uh, it, it is the same price, uh, <laughs> even with the options. But yeah, 89,000 for that. Uh, and then finally, we've got the module RB uh, Semi. Uh, this, again, is an alteration, as I said earlier, of the existing in-game. No uh, no customizations on this. 46,000, and that compares. Again, it's it's 1,000 more than the standard in-game one. I'm I, If I'm honest, I'm slightly disappointed by these two. I would quite like to have seen the DLC make an alteration to, to these two, to update these two. Uh, and maybe add customizations in, uh, maybe change the thing. Because that is, they are just recolors of the standard uh, in-game ones, which take the slightly different bales. And it's, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed by that. But, uh, yeah, so that is it. Uh, all in all, uh, there's... Uh, this, uh, I'm, yeah. I don't want to come off overly negative about this, but I'm not overly sure how useful this DLC is, if I'm completely honest. It's nice to have some more cotton equipment in the game. Um, certainly the spikes and things, I've, I'd be interested if these spikes worked on the square bales. Um, but it's, yeah, there's not a lot to it, to be honest. Uh, the big thing is this uh, John Deere cotton harvester. But it is hideously expensive. Uh, I don't know how realistic that is to, to real life with this cotton harvester. But it is a hideously, hideously expensive piece of kit. And uh, and I think most people aren't going to get to the point in game where they're going to be able to use it. Uh, it's, uh, it's either your farm is going to be too small and can't even support leasing it. Or you're you're gonna be so big that um, yeah, it's it's a slow piece of equipment that uh, that you're probably better off with having the standard case for, especially as you can pretty much buy two case harvesters for the price of this. So uh, yeah, you can work twice as fast. But enough of that. Let's see how these work. And so to do that, we're gonna head up to our field here, yeah, where we have one of the cp 690s currently working on a hired help uh, and you can see here that this is how it works so it will do two bales at a time you've got uh, a bale that it holds on the back here uh, and then you have a bale that is forming inside the cotton harvester once it reaches uh, capacity which this isn't reaching massively fast uh, what happens is this bale will drop off the back and the next bale will take its place and it will continue around the field. Uh, we'll have a look in the cab. Uh, very nicely modelled in the cab. I, I do quite like this. This is up to Giant's normal excellent standards. And uh, I really quite like that. If we uh, take this off helper. Uh, we can just see. By turning on. We push our foot down. That the. Uh, has that. Yeah we are still harvesting. So uh, we can see here that that is uh, actually doing uh, the, the actual joystick moves on this, not the pedals. If we brake, yeah, there's no, there's no pedal movement on this at all. Um, if we come out here, do we have beacons? I don't believe... Oh, we do. We have a beacon on the back. So you can see the beacon flashing there. Uh, indicators, yes, we have a left indicator, a right indicator, and hazards. So that is all good. Uh, liking that a lot. Uh, so yeah, all the standard normal things uh, looking good. 
Uh, it's dirtying up quite nicely. You can see the muck on the front of it uh, is looking quite good. Uh, wear and tear, we are. We have spent most of... This has been doing field 12 for a while. Uh, and you can see wear and tear, it's nearly down to a quarter. So, uh, yeah, normal sort of wear and tear. Use next to no fuel, though. Um, that is actually one of the things I'm hoping Seasons is going to address. Because that is very, very about face. Uh, to to basically have <laughs> to have your wear and tear and your vehicle to be completely in need of maintenance uh, before it uh, before it's run out of fuel, but that is working absolutely brilliantly. So we'll uh, we'll leave that going with the hired worker some more, uh, and that will then go and drop that bale in a moment. In fact, I think it's got a bale in its chamber as well, uh, which is quite interesting. So uh, yeah, we'll leave that going. Uh, and head over to here where we have some equipment uh, So we've got a 6R and a 6M here. We've got a load of the equipment. Well, we've got all of the equipment So the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna go and spike a bale uh, Using the Manitou 2 here. We've got one just over the other side of the field here So that we can just show this piece of functionality off And uh, yeah, so normal bale spike not much different to, to normal. It is huge on the front of this Manitou. You can see that 10,000. Uh, and the Manitou is picking out with ease. Not, not really falling over itself or anything like that. So it works quite nicely there. Uh, so we're then going to put this at the edge of the field here. So that we can switch over and you can see the rollers. So that is, uh, that is a very simple piece of functionality there with the spike. If we uh, hook up our mana to, to the rollers now. We can then... We should be able to then... Uh, yeah, there we go. So we can then close those in and out. So we'll go under the bale like this. We then close them in, close them in, lift it up, and there you go. So that's sitting on the rollers like that there. So uh, running quite nicely. So I'm gonna move this to here for our next test. Uh, and again, what we then do is we put it down, we open up the rollers, and it just allows us to back off. So having backed off the bale there, we will move the Manitou out of the way. And pop over to our 6M. Oh no, sorry, to our... Uh, yeah, this is our 6M. Uh, and we will back up to the roller here. And we can see this one at work. So this again works on the uh, same thing as the front loader controllers. You open it right up, reverse up to your bale. Uh, we want to lower it right down and then close it up and it just rolls, should roll the bale onto this. Now that to me is not working all that well. I'm not, yeah, I'm not overly impressed with that. It's, uh, it's not doing a brilliant job on that. So I don't know if there's a trick to that, but it's, uh, yeah, it's not what I would, uh, I'm not overly, uh, yeah, not not overly sure that uh, I like the functionality of that. It's a little bit like some of the other stuff. I uh, get that right down, get right in there on that. That might do it. Yeah, it's what I would like to see from this actually is uh, is when you do this. Yeah, we've kind of got it there, but that's not uh, not the best, uh, not the best bit. And now, as we've got at least uh, two bales on here, what we're going to do is we're going to now plonk this in front of here, and we'll see how the loading mechanism works on the, our next bit. So open that up, pull forwards. And we'll close it up so that we can just go and park it up again. 
And then we're going to go and collect up a couple of bales uh, with our 7R. Like so. So start this up. Unfold this. And you can see it has a similar sort of mechanism to the other one. Uh, so we've actually placed this in a position where it's a little bit more difficult for us to get. Uh, and as I said before, it's got a similar sort of uh, functionality to the one from the Anderson DLC. Which I think it's going to, yeah. So it just clicks in there and unloads like that. And this, I think, holds up to four bales. And we can just roll her through the field like that. Yeah. There we go. So that is... Uh, I quite like the animation on that. That's quite a, a nice animation on this trailer. Uh, looks like it takes maybe three of these. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty good. So uh, yeah, that all functions well and nicely. Again, uh, folds back up like that. Uh, and then, like the Anderson DLC, unload with the same button. And it should just roll those off the back. Uh, not too bad. A little bit of a jumpy animation. Uh, but uh, has worked and has unloaded okay. So we will drop this trailer off now in the middle here. And we'll get the uh, module RB and try that out. And see how easy it is to load these on. So that. So again, this should function exactly the same way as, uh, as the other one does. So unfold it, reverse it up. And as you get close, it loads on the bale. And we should get a second one on that. So this will take two bales like this. Oh, actually, this will take three. So this will take three bales on here. So I'm just wondering, the case... The case produces bales of... Uh, where are we? Here we go. 20,000. So this does allow you to transport an extra 10,000 litres of cotton... The only trouble is that we are maybe going to get a maximum of 40,000 litres of cotton off that field. So, again, it's cotton is one of those things where it's worth it if you've got a massive field. But if you've got a massive field, it is going to take you forever to harvest it. It really is. Right, so we want to unload this. Like so. And again, those just unload as the square bales do as well. And we come up here and uh, we want to load this on. So same function here. And again, just scoots straight up the back. And we're not quite straight onto it. So the first one went in because we were close enough. This one not so much. So we'll reverse this up. And there we go. And then that just folds down. And that is uh, that is the cotton bales all loaded up. So yeah. That is that is basically the functionality of all this equipment together. It is. It works fairly well. The only one I don't really like, I think, is this wheel grab. I think it's a little bit clunky to use. Uh, that could just be me trying, you know, trying to get used to it. But it doesn't quite work as nicely as the other bits do. Uh, as I said before, I'm uh, I'm not overly hot on on these two bits on the RB module and the uh, the trailer. In fact, let's head down to the shop. Uh, so yeah, I'm not too I'm not too hot on these two bits. I kind of wish that there'd been uh, there had been modifications made by the DLC to the two standard in-game ones when you have the DLC active. Uh, we've got mods that do that kind of thing. I I don't see why the DLC couldn't have done that kind of thing. Um, it's nice to have the spale spikes and uh, and uh, the rollers. 
Um, I do, I do really quite like this McCormack trailer. Um, that that works really rather nicely. Uh, said before, not too hot on that one. And the John Deere Harvester is nice, but it is so expensive, so absolutely ridiculously expensive. So really, my my overall thoughts on this DLC. It's nice for what it is. Um, I don't know how useful a DLC it is. I, I, I think, personally, I would quite like to have seen something else, I think, as, as, as the next DLC. Um, this, this to me, for me, this isn't an overly useful DLC. I am, um, I don't do a lot of cotton, uh, and, uh, and, and this is, and as I said, this is a massively expensive harvester. So yeah, to me this for me this is not a an overly useful DLC. If you like your cotton and you like your JD in game, then yes. Um at £4.99, it is uh, I'm I don't think there's a lot of DLC here for that. Uh but uh but yeah, I I I'd prefer the Anderson DLC to be honest. It has a lot more in it for me than the John Deere one does. But if you must have a John Deere Cotton Harvester in game and you want the John Deere round bale setup and to do this, go for it. Uh, this is the DLC for you. Uh, not the DLC for me and I don't know how much we will actually use this. But uh, yeah, if you want your John Deere Cotton Harvester and you want your round bales, absolutely go for this. And with that, um, that's really where I'm going to end it. So all that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, spotlight. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.